Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel, and um... Somebody went ahead and donated me this. This is called Nekopara. A visual novel with a lot of cat girls. Okay, um, anyway, uh, the person that asked me to, uh, the person that gifted it to me asked me now to reveal their Steam name uh, in case their friends may be lurking on the internet and uh, they don't want to know that this was gifted to me, so I'll keep it anonymous. So thank you so much, Anonymous, for helping with this, uh, or gifting, <laughs> not helping me. <laughs> I guess in a way it's all about, <laughs> Jesus Christ, gifting me this. And I said that I will stream and or play games. I know YouTube is very sketch about this, so... And I'd rather stream on YouTube, if anything. I mean, I could stream this on Twitch, but I guess they just make videos on it. Alright, let's get right into this. This is called Nekopara, and this is uh, Volume 1 to start the game. Actually, config, do I need to do anything here? Uh, display mode, I'll keep as that. Text display speed, that's fine. Auto mode, text speed. No, I don't want auto mode, I'm just gonna click on it myself. Alright, let's go ahead and start this, I guess. <clears throat> okay then. So I'm gonna only narrate the things as the narrator would, or I guess the protagonist would be saying. And I guess we're playing as Kyle Show. Phew, this should be almost, uh, this should be most of the boxes then. And uh, I will let you guys just read the subtitles as it goes on, because the voice acting is all in Japanese, so I, I, there's nothing I can do. I can't put it in English, but I think it would be more funny to just hear it in Japanese. I wiped the sweat off my forehead with my arm, as the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at an empty bakery, which didn't even have a, signa a signage yet? I guess it's a sign. Uh, the brand new exterior wall had uh, a western look with a predominantly white and brown motive. There was now also a large window which let out all the sunlight in. Or let all the sunlight in. Jesus, I can't read! Ah! And finally, there were the words that display the name of the bakery. La Solali. I have no idea what that means. Instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La Solali, meaning the sun. Oh. This was a nod toward the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, from here on out no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the signature of my family's name, and everything that had happened up until now. I alone would decide my path to take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead of me break into a smile or maybe make it... Alright. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirit back up. <laughs> I, I'm still in the process of processing of what I'm doing right now. I stepped into a new smelling bakery. There it is. Let's check what's inside. Oh, it has a little bell and everything. Looks pretty damn empty. Hmm? What's with this big box? I'm not- I don't know how I feel about this right now. In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile. Delicate. Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard, they were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, there were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If they were from bakery, there were no way it would be... If they were for the bakery, there was no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those warning labels. Well. I don't know for sure once I open the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My mind is still trying to process that I'm actually playing a visual novel here on this channel. Alright, let's keep going then. Huh? Okay. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, it's just a cat, huh? It's a troublesome cat. Jeez. There's someone in a freaking box. Okay. Like, that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? Actual hell. Oh, okay. All right. We got a cat going a box. A freaking cat going a box. What? Okay. All right. You know what? This is happening. Let's do this. We just saw each other at home yesterday. You know. Oh yeah, so we know the name of this cat girl, Beauty in a Box. <laughs> Beauty in a Box, Jesus. So that's Chocolate, apparently. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chocola puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you described Chocola. Or really any cat out there, I guess. Uh, while I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Wait, hold on. Box 2. There's something else in the yellow box. Oh my god, okay. Hey. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I need to turn down the music a little bit. Because it's a little too loud right now. Hold on, affect the sounds. Oh, I forgot about that. This thing, this game has chest bounciness. Oh my god. Uh, background music. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Oh, Jesus, chest bounciness. Oh my god. Which key was that? It was a P, B. I don't remember which key it was. Whatever. No time to see space. No mind. Oh, okay then. So that's vanilla then. Why is vanilla here too? I'm still trying to get over the fact that two cat girls in boxes. Jesus Christ. Is this animal abuse or humane abuse? I don't know. What would you consider them? Animals or humans? I guess both. <laughs> doesn't she doesn't seem steaming again huh in any case chocolate vanilla get out of here I was at my wits end with large boxes that had suddenly shown up anyhow chocolate and vanilla get out of the boxes why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigure doing? I hang up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that chocolate and vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, characters looked almost like humans. <laughs> Except, you know, cats. And... Boxes. <laughs> they can understand words and talk just like us. But more than humans, characters were closer to normal cats. Jesus. After all, characters had ears and tails just like cats do. There were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Genetically modified? Okay, there's some serious background lore happening here. These days, cat girls fit into society as pets in families or partners to humans. Part. Can I go back to that? It's not letting me go back. It's not letting me go back. I want. What? Boop. 
Book save, quick load. Book save, I guess? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, how do I make it go back? Is this it? Is this how you make it go back? Wait. No, hold on. Oh, that makes the... Everything has disappeared in the text. Okay, uh, my little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So our family has six, including chocolate and Jesus Christ. Talk about cat lady. In any case, they could it couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. There's no way my parent my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigeru is doing. I see. So Shigeru was an accomplice then. Thanks, sis. I guess. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my god, that was actually kind of cute. Once you did yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Yeah, they go in the bedroom. Wonderful. I just, I just realized that this game has jiggle physics. Oh my god. Okay. And you know what? Let's keep going. Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves. That probably gonna do something bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Without any ill illusions, the two cargoes were off and running. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, there aren't young cargoes anymore either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that, I looked up an address in my phone's address book. Mikaduki Residence, or Minaduki Residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message, message, so she, so, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything, so for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should have, I should hear from Shigure soon anyhow. That's. Way too close, holy crap, okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you have major bedheads. Sheesh. Oh my god, wow, that's actually pretty damn cute. <laughs> oh my god. I, t uh, I tidied up their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. I lightly bonged them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? <laughs> oh god, the faces! It's killing me on the inside a bit. I want to turn down the master volume again, or the, the background music a little bit. There we go, that will, that will do it. Can I... is it... is it save? How do I save? Back? Okay, that will do it. You had no choice? Just tag along. You two. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow... I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure and the other Kagos are there too. It would be better if you j if the two just... Oh, 
Tails, keep going. Gotcha. <laughs> While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past 1 o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? These two were as easy going as always. Wow. Alright then. <sighs> I'm getting fired up now. Is this... Okay, we continue. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's slowly killing me on the inside with it with <sighs> It's slowly killing me on the inside. It's actually pretty damn pretty fucking cute. Holy shit. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the meow, oh my god. Fucking cute. Vanilla dot the jitsua uki uki steric singing. Oh, da, oh, pefuni finish chazo. Oh, so good, Kusagata. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you now watching this, if you. Watching this without headphones on, you're doing something wrong right now. Please put headphones in. <laughs> Love God. You bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two. Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you come here, you have just about everything. There was this was how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Oh, oh, that's... Wow. That was how the real estate agent rec has recommended this place to me. I can't read. Wait, don't you two go shopping with Shigure often? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, first of all, Shigure is your master. Okay. <laughs> okay, so they clearly don't prefer the protagonist over the sister. <laughs> god, that is... Oh my god. It's adorable. It's actually it's really adorable. Holy shit, it's killing me on the inside. <laughs> Never mind then. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store, okay? I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. Wow, this is. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that stuff's for you. Um, uh, that stuff for you to use. I don't need it. So put it down and come over here. <laughs> wow! <laughs> god damn it! Holy shit! Oh my god! I don't know how to react to this game. I really don't. This is out of my comfort zone completely. Oh well, it's not like the streaming is any different. I get out of my comfort zone there all the time, so I just embrace it with full on, right? <laughs> oh my god, don't say that and then toss that basket on nonchalantly. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I had to be on guard or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. <laughs> Oh, at least they're honest. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, she's the one we gotta look out for. She's the mischievous one. The quiet, mischievous one. It has nothing to do with being honest. I'm telling you. Don't just put the shampoo in a basket like that. Put it back. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, the face! The face! Jesus Christ. It's killing me on the inside. I'm gonna die by the end of this playthrough. Oh my god! <laughs> this game, holy god damn it! Ah, okay, keep going. Oh, now we've been judged by. Now being judged by other customers, okay. Category abuse, wow. So we can get reported for that. Don't put on some act to confuse the customers around us. Seriously. Oh, sorry for bumping the mic. We only just moved here. But suddenly, we already have disapproving glares directed at us. God damn it, Charlie Manila. God damn it.